Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're excited to talk about our major updates we've made to our gear hanging system since our last video. So let's dive into it and just do a quick overview of some of the major updates we've made to our gear hanging system. One of the major updates you'll see from our last video that we did for when we launched this product is the strap is different. So we had like a digital camo, winter camo for that. Now we have our custom G3E polyester strap. Um, so this is a green, like an olive drab kind of green with our logo on it. Uh, one, it makes it look nice, but also the I think the the olive drab just blends in a little bit more. It's typically more guys like that. Um, so we've made that change. That was a while ago. Um, the other thing that we did when we made that change is we went away from our plastic buckle. Um, and this has been for over a year now. We just haven't been able to do a video of it. Um, but now we have this G hook that's on here. So you can kind of see it here. This is a three quarter inch polyester webbing. There's a lot of features about polyester that I really like, and you can kind of see them in the video, so I won't rehash those. Um, but we needed a G hook that was robust enough to handle the force that you put on it um, when you cinch it tight. Uh, the original G hook we had was great. We actually were buying these from a supplier and they switched their supplier uh, for the G hooks and we did not know it. Um, but we did find that there was a bad batch of G hooks, so we had to find our own. So we sourced these ourselves. Did a lot of testing on these and these will uh, we haven't had any of these bend or fracture and if you guys have bought our gear hanging system and you have like a green it's like a light colored green looking g-hook and you've had some issues with it bending please reach out to us we'll send you a g-hook for free um yeah and we'll get that taken care of you for you guys but this is a new one so if you have a black one that's going to be our new g-hook we've had these for about six months now um a little over that probably actually we had them last year um so anyway so that's that's another big update we made is we changed from a plastic bicycle to this g-hook then we have our own source g-hook um, for these um one thing that we had before is this bungee retaining system so on this one you can kind of see what it's kind of nice for it kind of takes that tag in you can wrap it up and then you can kind of hold it so it's not flapping around or wrapping around the tree um, so that's nice for that but it also helps with storing it up so you when you wrap it up you can take this and run it around on itself and store this up just like that so it makes it just kind of clean when you put it away at the end of the hunt then when you pull it out at the beginning of the hunt it's easy to pull it right out so that's something we've actually had for a while now um, when we launched it we had that um, but on this one you can kind of see our new update has this glow in the dark tab end piece tab same with our hpes same with our stick mule systems they all have this now um, as a pull tab kind of thing that's really nice because then you see it at the end of the hunt um, the other thing behind our new gear strap is we actually have a sewn loop and this has been there um, since we actually went with these gear hangers. So now we have this loop. So when you cinch it tight, you have something to grab onto and pull it tight. Um, so that's another big update. I'm trying to cover them all. So if I miss them, that's not good, but hopefully I cover them all. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the strap and the system. Let's talk a little bit more about the hooks that go on it. Um, the hooks that went on or go on it are a different shape now and the bow hanger is a different shape and the reason for that um, is because now we are able to use paracord or um, uh, like an accessory cord with our roller cam system but how it looks now you can kind of see that's our bow hanger so our bow hanger will have this hole up here for accessory cord or paracord it has this top talon is what i'm going to call it and then these little grooves here so you can kind of see those, those help it grab onto the tree when you set it. Um, so it really locks it into place for the strap version and for the, the roller cam system. But that top talon is on their G, our gear hooks too. So you can kind of see, see if I can pull this one so you can kind of see it better. But that's our, our gear hook right there. So you can kind of see there's a hole there, but this top talon, the reason for that, and I'll show you here in a second, when you have it on the roller cam with a paracord, um since it's so, so high up it'll want to pop up if that wasn't there so we put that there to help lock it in but something that we found too even with our strap version is when you set pull the strap and cinch it tight this thing actually helps lock it in the tree on soft bark trees we actually had that digging in so when i took the strap off it would just hang there so those are almost like teeth that dig right into the tree um so yeah so that's a, a big update we made to the 3d printed parts um something to note that we've had since we started this these are tight on the strap so they don't just fall around. Um, I really like that so you can like kind of position these before you put your strap on the tree. So I would space them out accordingly like that and then set my bow down. So then you can take this around the tree. And so you kind of see I'm grabbing this gear hanger, the strap, but my hooks are pretty much preset for me. 
And then from here, I can kind of like grab them and move them to the position before I cinch this thing tight. So that's another uh, key thing that we wanted to capture when we designed this back in the day. Um, but that's been a feature we've had on this since the launch of this back in, I can't remember when it was, but it was like over two years, three years ago. Um, so yeah, so that's our, our gear strap and some of the updates. So the, one of the biggest updates we've made, like I said, is now you can use it with like paracord, accessory cord with this roller cam system. Um, this is something that guys were kind of asking for us, um, for us to come out with. Uh, it's, we just struggled with finding a uh, innovative slash robust system for this cam locking system. Um, so we wanted to be different, but also make sure that it was just simple and easy to use. So this is our three gear hangers here paired with our standard fulcrum. And you kind of see with those top talons, they actually kind of nest in there. And this creates a very low profile uh, packing situation for you. But anyway, so how it works is you're basically going to unroll this just like this. If you remember with the strap version, um, it was, they were pretty tight on the strap. The downside of this is that these are going to be a little loose. Um, so just something to note with this, uh, we redesigned our fulcrums to have a hole here so you can run the paracord through. If you have an older style fulcrum, that's okay. Just run it through the slot here. And then as you swing the arm up there, it'll kind of lock it in so it doesn't pop out. Um, I've stealth stripped this. We designed our fulcrum to have enough gap there from the beginning of when we launched this to have stealth strip or like a plasti dip or something like that. Um, so yeah, anyway, so what I will do with this is what I set this up on the tree. Let's actually remove this one so it's not in the way. This goes around the tree. So then I will grab the roller cam and I won't even like, mess with the hooks yet i will pull this thing snug and then i will start positioning my accessory hooks and my bow hanger so i like to run one off the back i'll run one kind of in the center and then one off to the right side about so i basically have one at 12 one at three and then one at like a, a four five ish and then my bow hanger is at like a like a nine or eight o'clock so then you pull this thing tight and as you can see this thing is pulling really tight one thing to note about this roller cam system, what I like to do is I pull this thing tight. You don't need to really wrench on this thing. This is made out of stainless steel, so it's gonna hold up to you. But what I like to do is I pull it tight and then I put my finger behind the, the cam system and I push towards me so that it bites on the accessory cord or the paracord. It doesn't allow it to feed through. If I don't do that, it will, pop, it will pull through just slightly. And then I'll just set my bow hanger like that then my gear hooks are set just like that. But remember how I was telling you, if I didn't have that top talon, this thing would want to roll up. So you can kind of see it rolls up if I pull it, but it will snap back down just like that. If it's one of those things where it tries to roll up the tree. Um, so this is my like backpack that I have. This is just the, the tethered one. I have the, the pack elevator on it. So I'll just hang it from one of the hooks. So you can kind of see that's a typical weight that's in my backpack. I actually have my saddle with all my stuff in it. Um, I think my sub one's in there and everything, but yeah, it handles it just fine. The bow hanger just goes on here just like this. It's that simple. So at the end of the hunt, I would take everything off and how I would pack this up. I would fold my bow hanger up. Did you, I don't know if you saw that, but to release this roller cam under load is really easy because there's a bearing system in there. So it un unlatches super easily. So I would basically just clip that in bring everything over slide it all down and then i would just fold this thing over just like this and then i would just take my paracord and just wrap it up and then when i get to my roller cam i just like to roll it all the way to the bottom and i'll show you the reason for that is because when i get to the end of this wrapping it up i'll clip it back into the loop that i use to put it on the tree and i'll just pull that tight i'll have a little tag in um, I'll just let that hang, but that's the complete system right there. So yeah, so that's our two different gear hanging systems now that we offer. We offer the paracord with the, the roller cam system, and then we offer our traditional one that we've had forever with the strap and G-hook. Um, there's a lot of accessories that we've incorporated or a lot of features that we incorporated with this, this product or this accessory um, that we're really excited about and we think that you guys are going to really like. So make sure you swing over to our website and check this new gear hanging system out today.